everybody. It's me. It's Luigi Scarcelli, and it's Friday night. It's my show. Welcome to it. It's Friday p.m. Uh, we got a great show tonight. We have the you know, hip hop artist, mostly, yeah, improviser, freestyler, improviser, freestyler. Improviser, freestyler. Yeah, yeah. Unique, unknown is here. Uh, we got an audience. Everybody, give yourself a round of applause out there. Hey. Yeah. Okay, that's enough. So Unique has, has a great audience with him. We're going to hear some really cool songs. Uh, he was at our New Year's Eve event. We had a New Year's Eve event. We had probably about 10 or 12 different folks doing a lot of different types of music. It was great. Uh, that's where we met him, but he's got a great story as well. We're going to learn a little bit more about him and also his uh, collaborator uh, named Kyler, right? You don't have a more of a name like Unique Unknown, it's just Kyler, right? <laughs> Actually, when I do poetry, I am Hippocrates. Okay, I so like that. Hippocrates. Socrates, that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like I say, let's kind of learn a little bit more about you guys. Let's, let's do yeah, it. Let's do it. Um, so, Unique, uh, tell, tell us a little bit about, you know, kind of your life story. You were born in Florida, I know that. That's a little ways away from Maine. I was. I was born in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Um, I'm adopted, so I was adopted in Florida. Um, lived there for about eight years. Then we moved to Arizona. My dad got a job at Intel. Uh, we moved there. And then uh, <laughs> my mom ended up moving us up to Van Buren, Maine. Uh, they got a divorce. Uh, so we ended up moving up to Van Buren, Maine, which was kind of crazy, a little bit of a culture shock for me, going from uh, 100 degrees to you know, negative 20 degrees sometimes, the biggest snowstorm I've ever seen in my life. Um, but yeah, so. Florida, so you went Arizona, from Arizona, like Maine. the swamp to the desert to basically like rural Maine. Yes. Because it's not even Portland, it's Van Buren. Van, right? It's six hours up north. Ooh, God. Yes. Like kind of closer to Canada, maybe. Very close. I could be at two places at once. Right, if I right. To. It's yeah, like, yeah. And they always have these names, too, like Van Buren. It makes it sound very majestic or something. It, <laughs> named after somebody important, but probably wasn't a lot going on in Van Buren. No, not a lot. They actually uh, had a McDonald's that closed it down <laughs> in Van Buren, Maine. So you can imagine how yes. thriving the place is. Um, but I, you know, I grew to love it. Coming from Florida and Arizona, I didn't play sports or... Uh, do music or anything like that, but then when I moved to Maine, my mom got me a drum set, little mini drum set. That's where I started. Um, I got to play soccer, basketball, tennis, and uh, I loved it. It was, it was, I think, necessary for my growth, for sure. So what brought you from Van Buren to Portland? Were you going to school, or was it an adult? At, or, I mean, it probably wasn't when you were younger than 18. You, you popped over from there to here. I, grad, I went to USM yeah, for so theater. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I was staying on the campus for a while, and then I started dealing with chronic nerve damage, which really started to affect my day-to-day -day life. And then I ended up moving into Portland. I left USM my third year. Uh, so I didn't finish college, but who needs it, right? Just kidding, not promoting it. Go to school, kids. Um, um, yeah, so I ended up, that's really where I found Unique Unknown. I started freestyling with my friends uh, in, uh, in, at USM, and then when I started dealing with the chronic pain, um, I started writing. And I always struggled looking in the mirror because I'm adopted. I don't know what my uh, real parents look like, so... Unique and known was my way of stress relief, of seeing myself for who I really am, and it's really the growth that, that's come. And of course, meeting Kyler, you know, at Bull Feeney's, I was doing a slam poetry event, and he came up to me afterwards and was like, you're good. <laughs> we should do some stuff together. And I was like, all right, <laughs> and here we are. What's well, life? The funny thing I, I was going to say is that uh, you're probably not that far behind the eight ball with the other guys that graduate if they got a degree in theater. It's kind of, you know, I mean. I mean, I'm a, working uh, at the Children's Museum right. and Theater of Maine as a theater as program a theater associate. I got very lucky. Well, that was what I was going to ask you about. You, you also, by day, you know, you're kind of like a Superman Clark Kent, right? You got a unique unknown totally. on one side. But there's Nathan, if, if we don't want to, you know, let everybody Don't tell everybody name, my but, name. But you're... But tell us about uh, what you do with children at the, at the Children's Museum, correct? Yeah, yeah. so uh, we all know COVID happened. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, 
that life pretty much changed there, but I had an opportunity to be in a play. Laura, uh, my friend, uh, oh God, Megan hit me up and was like, you need to audition for this play. I auditioned, I got the part, met Laura Morris, who ended up getting me um, opportunities to teach kids in Raymond and Wyndham. And then uh, I auditioned for a play at the Children's Museum and Theater of Maine. Um, actually, I went in for a script reading and I got the part based off the script reading, um, uh, Frederick the Musical. And then I auditioned again for Frog and Toad. I got the part of Toad. Frog's in the audience right now, Mason. Yeah, yeah. Love you, brother. Um, and uh, yeah, I was still working um, uh, in Wyndham and Raymond at the time for uh, Be the Influence, a drug free coalition. And uh, Reba, my boss, hit me up and was like, hey, Nathan, I want you to work here. Let's have a, let's have a chat. So we went to Rwanda, talked, and she convinced me to go work at the Children's Museum. So do theater, you, so. are you teaching theater? Rather, I'm you're going to think, oh, well, maybe you teach music, but you're doing theater. More, I do. A little bit of everything. Everything. Yeah. I, uh, I've done everything in the theater now. I've house managed. I've worked backstage. Um, I create programs for kids, um, interactive programs that I perform each and every day. Um, and I absolutely love it. Train of thought just slowly slipping away right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so I love it. Uh, I get to act. Mm -hmm. um, I've written a play at this point now. I'm going to be directing a couple plays. Um, so it's like, it's insane to think. I'm just very blessed right. to be And this, in this has been position. over, the, you said, before COVID? Or this, this is, is like... I mean, it's still COVID, I guess, but like second mm -hmm. year of COVID when this stuff started happening. Yeah. Um, which has been, yeah, I I love it. Absolutely. I mean, too. I was with the Boys and Girls Club today um, teaching an improv class and beatboxing with the kids. and Probably working with the Mondays of the Mind guys. Those are, work with Monday of the Mind. Right? Yeah, that's to, her. My I had them as an was. interview with them a couple weeks ago, and I know he works with the Boys and Girls Club. So, Kyler, let's talk a little bit about yourself. I know sure. we're going to be doing a little more with Unique for a little bit after, but this is your chance to tell us a little bit about you as well, because you guys collaborate on a lot of things. Actually, it's all about me, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know, just kidding. We're gonna give Kyler a chance here, <laughs> yes, but I know you're sometimes like a visual artist too, and also a musical artist. Is that kind of, those two things mesh a lot? Um, absolutely, I do feel like the creativity overlaps a little bit, and yeah, I do have some art up in the, the Bramble Gallery, Freeport, man. Okay. Um, but yeah, I believe a lot in the permanence of art um, obviously, lots of people shoot for money or what is status, what, what do you want your legacy to be? Um, but I, if I ask you who had the nicest house in the 1700s, you probably wouldn't know, but I ask you, you know, who wrote music, you would know Mozart. No, he probably had the nicest house too. But right, you know exactly, I mean? right. But um, I believe in the permanence of art. Right. So, yeah, I do think there's a lot of overlap there. It's like they'd say, like, who had the, the best girlfriends or things like that. And the <laughs> 70, who, nobody knows. But Mozart probably that. had that. <laughs> but Mozart probably had that, too. He probably had the best girls, too. Yeah. So, but you, you have a wife and a son. Are they here with us tonight? Are they watching at home? Or They are watching at home. Hello. Oh, Hi, yes. guys. Yes, and I'm incredibly proud of my son, Seamus, who's yeah. 18 this year. Seamus. Cool. Yes, yeah. that's right. He's a little bit Irish. A little um, bit Irish. Um, but yeah, he wants to go into sound engineering. Okay. So, uh, so you know, he is watching tonight. He's watching. He just did a residency, so to say, up at Husson University. Okay. Um, he did a mentorship with DJ Matt Perry over at Breakwater Studios, which is now Black Owl Studios, um, where we do a lot of re uh, recording. Yeah. So yeah, my son is definitely uh, into that side of things. Yeah. yeah. And a sound engineer, creative side of things. Well. Hopefully, we're going to have good sound for him tonight to be listening to as you play. You know, it, we're still good. working on all of our sound things. You guys are amazing. I think amazing. we've got it. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, how you guys met at Bolfini's. So, that's, isn't that pretty Irish place itself, right? Yes, that's true. And uh, it was about 10 years ago. Yeah, and it was yeah. a poetry slam, okay, fittingly poetry enough. Slam. Um, and it was very crowded that night. And we yeah. were both just performing poets. So, when I got there, it was super crowded. And I just found a table in the back and happened to say, hey, is, is this seat taken? Um, and then we both performed. And at the end of the night, I was like, dude, you were really good. Can I give you my number? 
Um, and that was sort of the building of to where we started jamming in the basement. And then we played at Guitar Grave, where, where Mike and the guys were so uh, gracious to host us for years and let us play outside. Mm -hmm. And then, as you said, we built up to Monday of the Mines, which is, right. and, you know, in the original rap night. Um, Flask. Uh, yeah. Flask is where Money of the Mines right, is, right? right yeah. And Rap Night has moved around. At that time, it was yeah. that aura, right? Yeah. Um, but all those guys were so welcoming to us, and it's intimidating when you go in there. But um, once you get up and do it, even if you mess up, everyone is very welcoming. So it's a yeah. really cool scene here in Portland. Yeah, and uh, how big is the is the hip-hop scene? It's, it's, it's not gigantic. Like, how many artists do you think kind of revolve in that. It's interesting. Yeah. I find, like, you, you know, you think Portland and Maine is somewhat small, but there's actually a lot of... There there's is, people yeah. I still learn about to this day. Right. Um, yeah. But I know the Monday the Mind scene is, is, has always been around, it's been pretty big, and I know there's other hip-hop guys doing their thing in town, too. So it's it's been booming, um, I'd say, uh, and I love, you know, I love being a part of it. So let's talk a little bit, because I know you got to perform soon. Um, I think we're doing okay on time. Uh, socially conscious kind of hip-hop, you'd say that's a little bit more of what, what you do. Ah, uh, yeah, conscious hip-hop. I mean, if you look up the definition of conscious hip-hop, um, it's very, it can be politically driven rap. I'm not a political person at all. I'm very much about... The consciousness, uh, treating others how you'd want to be treated, um, loving one another, that kind of deal, respect. Uh, that's what conscious means to me. Um, and being conscious of yourself and uh, relating to others, empathy. So that's what I do with my music. It's, it's pretty much been the ultimate stress relief um, and uh, beauty for my soul, for sure. Well, so... Uh because I have a feeling that the audience may not get a chance to understand more about what you do, because you'll be doing it, yeah. uh, is there something even as a kind of foreshadowing for to explain kind of how some of it, I mean, some of the looping stuff is, is, uh, is not, you know, that well known or it's not you know it's something you're, it's very unique to yourself it is like i look up to people like reggie watts mark ribele um beardy man check out beardy man if you've never seen him but um my it's it my music has adapted over the years it started out with just rapping over beats freestyling with the monday of the minds crew um and then i had to audition for children's museum and theater maine um my interview part of it was an audition so I bought a loop pedal from uh, this guy named Sam, um, and that's when I started using the loop pedal right, and right. working with that. And then they got the Reggie Watts delay modeler for me, um, which I can change it, do vocal effects and all that. Uh, so uh, my show is pretty sporadic. Um, you're not going to know what to expect. Um, it's fun. It's, it's good or bad. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be a, a, probably a mix of the two. So don't expect a lot. It's going to be terrible. I don't like it at all. I'm just kidding. I'm really uh, <laughs> setting the Setting the expectations. Well, well let's, let's ask the audience. You all know what he does. You, get, you like it? Let's give a round of applause if you like it. Yeah. That's what we need. It's an encouragement. Well, I know that uh, we're going to get a chance to hear a unique play, and we should get to that. Uh, we've Kind of cover some great bases here. I don't know if there's anything else you guys wanted to talk about. Uh, what we have you up here, maybe how they can get a hold of you, social media, um, where we'd be playing, coming family up. Family band projects. records. Yeah, Something absolutely. Part of what we did after we those chapters um, we talked about was start family band records. Family band records. Yeah, okay. family yeah. band, like family you're not allowed here. Family band records. Um, oh, band. We, yeah, 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 we've yeah, got yeah. a lot of really cool folks in town to help us produce and perform on the tracks. There's one album that's out there already, and we have another one that's about to drop. You can find the website, familybandrecords.com. Okay, well, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to hear some unique. Uh, so let's cut to that break now. Let's go. Yes. St. Clair Vision presents... Everyone knows that beautiful hair makes a girl... Hey, everybody. <laughs> kind of a... She has beautiful hair that grows. This is beautiful Chrissy, the 
doll with beautiful hair that grows right down to her toes. Turn the knob and her hair is shorter. Press her tummy and you can make her hair grow and grow and grow right down to her toes. You'll love to brush it and brush it. He has beautiful hair. She has beautiful eyes. He has beautiful clothes. Beautiful Chrissy comes in this beautiful dress. But you can get all these other beautiful clothes for her, too, and style her hair to go with them. Beautiful Chrissy has beautiful hair that grows. Beautiful Chrissy. She's ideal. The pup is full of tricks. Watch. Back up, Gaylord. Add out, boy. Now climb, Gaylord. Up, up. Now fetch your bowl. Got it. Good boy, Gaylord. Gaylord, you look kind of crazy. Boo's kind of lazy. See what he'll do. Gaylord, when you pull his leash, he'll walk and he walk and he walk with you. Gaylord comes with a bone of his own. He's a wonderful toy. He's ideal. Gaylord, when you pull his leash, he'll walk and he walk and he walk with you. Ah, ah. Hello. You are watching Unique Unknown. I am an artist, improviser, and performer based out of Portland, Maine. And we're here to have a good time. I've got some tracks to play. I've got a loop pedal. And it's about to go down. In a world where one man has to make people enjoy him for an hour, he's only got one chance to not let it blow, like Eminem said back in the day. And he's going to do all. Okay, but we're going to take a quick commercial break. I'll be right back with you. Hi, my friends. Do you like bananas? Do you like phones? Well, I'm going to call my mom real quick. Hello? Hey, Mom. Yeah, I'm on TV right now. Yeah, there's a bunch of people watching. What do you mean I shouldn't be talking on a banana phone? Ridiculous. Let's get this music started. <gasps> nope, that's not how you do it. Everybody... This is all practice. supposed to do oh, i got the b-shirt on and i'm flying loving myself always gotta keep trying exciting these fires of desire out of my own mind i'm looking at you you're looking at me like all the time i can't see it i don't even have a watch on but it's okay because it's here here we go now about to get crazy here we go now it's my birthday nolan <laughs> Here we go now, we're getting crazy, and I appreciate everyone here at PMC for helping me get set up here. That was an introduction by Unique Unknown. Now, let's go on to some other tunes. <coughs> I 
How's everyone doing? We doing good? We feeling good? I appreciate you all watching, checking it out. Who knows what's going to happen? We're going to have fun either way. Uh, yeah. Listen. I see the sun rise over the horizon. Yes, it's time again for fight or flight. Despite my mind being out of touch, out of sight. Such a rush to make it through another night. Always blinded, sight swiped by depression. The impression is I'm fine, but behind these eyes I'm restless. Second guessing constantly. Subconsciously I'm woke, but my conscience is broken. Can never be too cautious of what others have spoken. That's what my mother told me. Don't hold me to another standard. I broke that candid camera. I am one you'll never own. I wish I knew who I was talking to. See, sometimes it feels like an illusion. I've outgrown. Please put me out cold. Let me dream for a moment. Yes, I breathe for these moments. I would bleed for a moment to relieve you of your omens. It's so easy to just look the other way and keep going like we've been chosen. No. Oh no, you won't take this life from me. Oh no, you won't take this life from me. Oh no, you won't take this life from me. Oh no, you won't take this life from me. You see the sun lies always hiding itself, no surprise. That's why I keep hiding myself in these pages. There's no replacement, no paper chasing. That cream won't save me, experience has changed me. Weariness invades my body and soul. I'm bound to explode, untold sounds breaking the mold. Bound in the walls, we uphold our challenges boldly. But star, whenever we're not sold, take a hold of yourself. Pick up your shoulders, this is the role we've been dealt. Roll up your sleeves it's getting dirty this is hard work we deserve and you know that early bird gets the worm here's more encouragement uh, don't ever let them feel worthless our children need courage now it's never picture perfect but it could be worth it listen to me uh. oh no you won't take this life from me Oh no, you won't take this life from me. Oh no, you won't take this life from me. Oh no, you won't take this life from me. You won't take this life from me. I've got all the night I need. With these rhymes, I bleed. The blinds recede. Was once blind, now I see. You won't take this life from me. I've got all the time I need. With these rhymes, I bleed. The blinds recede. Was once blind, now I see. Oh no, you won't take this life from me. Oh no, you won't take this life from me. Oh no, you won't take this life from me. Oh no, you won't take this life from me. 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 Oh no. You won't take it. That was a song. Oh, you guys are too kind. It's my birthday weekend. <laughs> Is he going to keep saying that? All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be back after these messages. Do you feel hot all the time? Do you feel like life just gets in the way? Hey. Well, have I got, do you feel hot all the time? Or do you feel like life gets in the way? Well, have I got the tool for you. It's called this pink fan right here. All you've got to do is this, and it makes you feel cool. Like a breath of fresh air, if that breath has brushed its teeth. Make sure you brush your teeth, kids. All right, back to your regularly scheduled program. Yes, this is what you're going to be watching. All right, who's ready for some more improv? What should I sing about? Somebody give me a subject. Giraffes. Giraffes. Oh, good God. All right. Okay, listen, one at a time, guys. <laughs> Always 
want you to ride a giraffe now. Ride a giraffe. I've always wanted to ride a giraffe now. Ride a giraffe on his back. Ah, ride a giraffe now. Ride a giraffe on my back. What? Giraffe on my back? That's the backwards thing. What am I saying? Ah. Uh, I'm feeling really hungry right now as I'm riding this giraffe. We look to the right. What is that? Oh my goodness. It's a toaster oven already plugged in. Good thing I brought my bagels. Oh, we're gonna be eating real good. My giraffe's name is Nolan. Oh, we're gonna be eating real good now. Oh, I want to ride on a giraffe now. I want to ride on a giraffe now. I want to ride on a giraffe now. With my toaster oven and my bagel. Give me that, give me that right now. All my friend of you all and the animals. We can hang out in Madagascar. That's the only place I know where animals exist. Apparently, I don't know. I want to ride a giraffe. Now I want to ride a giraffe. Now I want to ride a giraffe. Now, and that's the song about giraffes and toaster ovens. Thank you, audience, for being a part of this beautiful, beautiful show. <coughs> tea is hot. Make sure before you drink tea out of its container, you check it first because it can burn your throat. And it's very scalding as it goes down. All right? Keep that in mind. I don't know where I'm looking right now. <laughs> Stop it! All right, we're going to have a little fun. We're going to have some fun. Um, I brought my party gloves. Who here likes the party? Yeah. Everyone! All right, so... Oh, bro, my news. This is good TV etiquette right now. You know, my dad's probably watching. Hi, Dad. I love you. Woo! All right, we're about to get crazy. Nobody look directly at the light. <laughs> I should have done a warning before. I <laughs> Actually, this is too much. I'm going to have a seizure watching this. <laughs> If I get a little bit more in my monitor, is that too much? Ooh. 
I've been sitting here thinking about which way to go through the stormy weather. My vision is blurred. The line's been covered over and over again. Can make these decisions at the cost of the ones I truly love. Yes, that makes a difference in a world where it seems it's not enough. Please come take my hand. Understand this is difficult. Can't do it all alone. I am miserable. This picture perfect presence is a ritual. Residual can be picked and pulled apart just like my heart. None of this makes sense. I'm losing my patience in this world gone crazy now. I've got some things to figure out. In this instant, it feels different because things have changed. Reality will never be the same. If gravity relates, I'll be glad for the exchange. Go mad within these walls that keep holding me. No sickness in these veins, but the fear always remains. I need some assistance before I lose my. Please come take my hand. Understand this is difficult. Can't do it all alone. I am miserable. This picture perfect presence is a ritual residual can be picked and pulled apart just like my heart none of this makes sense i'm losing my patience in this world gone crazy now i've got some things to figure out Take my hand, understand this is difficult. Can't do it all alone. I am miserable. Picture a perfect presence. It's a ritual residual can be picked and pulled apart. Just like my hard heart. None of this makes sense. I'm losing my patience. In this world gone crazy now. I've got some things to figure out. Yes, yes, thank you. I wrote that song in COVID times. You can imagine where we are now. If you're having trouble following me back and forth, just know that you don't have to keep looking at me. You can just listen. Sometimes the world moves way too fast. We need a moment to just chill and relax. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hello? Yeah? Yeah. This is really not a good time. No. No. You call me back later? It's my birthday weekend. Yeah. Okay. We're going to take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. Hi, my friends. Do you. Whoa, this ain't going to work. Hi, my friends. Do you like writing? Do you like poop? Well, try elephant poop writing paper right here. This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen in my life. Thank you to Kyler Henningsen. And it's specially made from elephant poo. So if you need yourself some elephant poo, buy this today. Only $5.99 in select stores. Please do not buy this product. It is illegal in 59 states. If you buy this product, you will go to jail. Back to your regularly scheduled program. <laughs> this guy's crazy. All right, I brought a friend here. Uh-oh, Nolan's like, no. It's not ready. I brought a friend, Nolan. Nolan, you want to come up here okay. with your easel? Yeah. We're going to do some. I work with Nolan at the Children's Museum and Theater of Maine. He's done some art for me at the Art Walk. Um, you just set up right here. Whoa. So we're, we're going to do some art music. While he sets up, I'm going to lay the mood. <laughs> About to go wild. We about to have a good time. Bet you never seen anything like this in your whole life. Oh, he's got an easel. Ah, I'm feeling what rhymes with easel? Easel. Uh, Knievel, evil. 
Beatles. <laughs> Beatles, right? What else rhymes with easel? <laughs> Weasel. <laughs> Weasel. Anything else? <laughs> it's a tough one, isn't it? Oh. So, my friends, I'm going to need some suggestions from the audience. We're going to try to tell a story together. This phenomenal artist right here is Nolan. Everybody say, hi, Nolan. Hi, Nolan. And then say, say hi, Nolan. Hi, Nolan. Nice. I hope you would say that. So I need a suggestion of a made-up creature. Um, just give it whatever you can think of. Twig Billy? All right, Twig Billy. Can you write Twig Billy up there? Now, where does Twig Billy live? In the bog. In the bog. You guys are so great. What is Twig Billy's profession? Rock picker upper. Rock picker upper. All right, I think we're good with that. This is going to be the rest of the show. It's just watching him draw. <laughs> That's beautiful. All right, well, we're going to get a song started. I'm going to get a beat going. Feel free to start if you want. However, you've got a couple things there. It's a really hard job because in Van Buren, Maine, they got to pick potatoes. So first they got to remove the rocks so they can go pick potatoes. And I know it's not a really cool job, but it gets me about $2,000 for two weeks. I feel me. I love myself. And I'm complete. Call me Twig Billy. I like to get around. They call me Twig. Billy, I got some headphones on. They got me tweaked, Billy. I love my DMX. They call me tweaked, Billy. I wonder what's gonna happen next. Oh, I'm Twill Billy. What? What's my name? I don't know. I'm Twill Billy. What? What's my name? I don't know. I'm Twill. Listen, loop pedal. That was no, I'm rude. Twill, I'm Billy. I'm what, what's really my name? Gosh. I don't know. I'm Twill I'm Big. I'm Twig Billy. I don't know why. I'm walking right down the world and I see the sky. It's so beautiful. Sunshine and birds. That's poop. Birds pooping on me. Oh, now I got bird poop on me. That's disgusting. How can I be cool with nothing? I don't know, but this is the life I chose. Hey, it's my best friend, the turtle. <laughs> I'm laughing, but I'm having fun. <laughs> they call me Twig Billy. It's how I get around. They call me Twig Billy. My friend Turtle's got a cool hat on. They call me Twig Billy. Kids would really love this song. They call me Twig Billy. Ah, uh, yo. Now let me break it down. How can I tell you the truth? I've been working so hard, my fingers got warts on them. Oh my goodness, it hurts, but I feel good. I get to provide for my family, and it's understood. I got a wife and two kids, one boy, one girl, and they know how to live. What else can I give? I'm Twig Billy. Twig Billy. Everybody say it with me. Twig Billy. Twig Billy. Twig Billy. Twig Billy. They call me Twig Billy. Twig Billy. They call me Twig Billy. 
Uh, yeah, I think we got one more verse. Oh no, my hand it really hurts. Like I said, I got a couple scars on it, but it's all right. I washed it last week. Is that okay? Even though I've been digging all the time, it might smell bad right now, but it's okay. I've got some um, Old Spice spray <laughs> right next to me in my pocket. It's the swagger version. I'm gonna spray it all on me and feel good, right? Twig, Billy, everybody. Twig, Billy. Twig, Billy. Twig, Billy. One more time. Twig, Billy. I can hear you. Twig, Billy. Twig, Billy. Twig, Billy. What? What do we have here? Let's look at this story. We've got Twig Billy here. Look, he's got his headphones on. He's listening to DMX. He gets that paper, you know, from picking up those smiling rocks. Don't ask me why they're smiling. Oh, I'm just kidding. We've got a wonderful turtle, his friend. What's his friend's turtle's name? Uh, George. George the turtle. Everybody say hi, George the turtle. All right. What's on the next page? Oh, Old Spice, try it today. All right, let's give Nolan a big round of applause. <laughs> Nolan, I love you, brother. What a birthday. Oh, it's my birthday. Nolan is amazing artist. I love you, my friend. No silence on the TV. Everybody, just give me one second. Ah. One, two, three, four, five. Struggles, victories, lessons, love. Gotta die. Struggles, victories, lessons, love. Ride or die, ride or die, ride or die. You're my ride or die. I'll ride for mine until I die. Cause we down for life. I'm on a mission for some balance. Inching towards a victory. Insistent with each and every step. A lesson learned from history. Eventually we all face the enemies who end up being that man in the mirror. I turn to love to ease the fear. That's why I keep you near. Without you, I wouldn't be here. My ride or die. So true to life. It's you and I that number five. Just look it up. Uh, you take me by surprise still to this day. Even through the struggles that we face. The losses and the pain. It never crossed my brain to let you go. What can I say? You help me grow. Through Knowledge and patience, honest communication, the key to this relationship, a piece of my heart. Freedom to accept change, although it may be hard, we'll keep on trying. If a peace of mind will count to one, two, three, four, five. Struggles, victories, lessons, love. Ride or die. Struggles, victories, lessons, love. Ride or die. Ride or die. Ride or die. You're my ride or die. I'll ride for mine until I die, cause we down for life. Uh, it's no longer complicated, I've waited for so long, this world retains its history, that's why our love's so strong, after all that we've been through, we took the scenic route with the loot, and made our escape, still to this day, I look back and ask how it happened, witness this twist of fate and full flesh actions, opposites to track, no opposition to our passion, a match made in heaven, so many ways to say that, it's absolutely incredible, immaculate and essential, fabulous for the mental, magical and eventful. I could go on and on for so long. This song would turn into an epic poem. Is that so wrong? Just keep knowing I'm holding on. Won't we'll ever let you go. Though they say never, say never. I say hope anything is possible. Just give it time. Like one, two, three, four, five. Struggles, victories, lessons, love. Ride or die. Struggles, victories, lessons, love. Ride or die, ride or die, ride or die. You're my ride or die. I'll ride for mine until I die. Cause we down for life. Ride or die, ride or die. You're my ride or die. I'll ride for mine until I die. Cause we down for life. Ooh. 
Yo, yo, I got a question for you. How are you all doing today? Do you have a short attention span? Do you need something to fill up your mind with time? Well, have I you got the tool for you? It's called the yo-yo. You can use the yo-yo, but it will tangle up on you every now and then. And when it does tangle up, you have to figure out a way to get it untangled. But don't you worry, we have the tool for you. It's called the banana phone. You can call customer service. Excuse me. I am so sorry. You can call customer service and they'll help you out with your broken yo-yo. And if customer service is giving you a round, well, then you can go ahead and pick up the poo-poo platter. <laughs> poo-poo paper. You can write down everything you're upset about with the yo-yo. Go ahead and put it in this, send it to the US government and they will file it away in what is this? Why were we sent this? <laughs> Back to your regularly scheduled program. Hi, guys. How are you doing? I'm going to do some ASMR real quick. Okay? I'm going to do some ASMR. Can you hear this? Okay, I don't know how to do ASMR. I'm trying my best. We can't keep hold of him. I'm sorry. Shout out to the cameraman. Uh, shout out to all the camera people doing their thing. <laughs> Following me around everywhere. It's got to be crazy. Oh, uh, did you guys know it's my birthday weekend? Ah, uh, that wasn't loud enough. Hi, I'm Unique Unknown, and I'm Shameless. Nice to meet you. <laughs> da, 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 Excuse me, miss. I've got a question. Da, 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 da. I feel I've missed my only time to unwind. Excuse me, sir. I've got sweat inside my eyes from all the lights. From all the lights. Uh, uh, uh. How am I supposed to keep it off me? I don't know. Maybe I'll keep coughing. It's not COVID. It's just the flu. It comes around, and I don't know what to do. What do I choose? Do I choose Sinex? Well, that's not a medication you can take for something like that. you got to figure out a way to get out of whack. Maybe some gym. Ginger tea, or maybe da, something da, else will make da, you feel good da, eventually. Da, oh, da, I've got sweat da, in my da, eyes, but da, I'm okay. Da, 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 Why da, is da, everybody da, staring da, at me? Da, da, oh, yeah, I'm performing. Da, da, oh, da, I guess I da, gotta keep da, on doing da, this. Da, da, but I'm stressed, da, anxious, da, depressed. Da, Tired da, and da, all of it. Who da, cares, right? Da, I da, hope you do da, because da, you need to da, take a moment. Da, Look at da, your friends. Da, say hello. Da, how are you doing? Da, I hope you're not da, going through da, something da, bad. Da, if you da, are, let's da, take a minute da, and talk da, about da, it. If you da, don't want to, da, we can da, sit for a da, moment. I'll just da, listen to you. Da, you just da, listen to me. Da, it's all da, about love, da, respect, da, and unity. Da, Am I right, everybody? That was called Da 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 by Unique Unknown. This is Unique Unknown at PMC. If you're enjoying your time, give me a whoop whoop. whoop, whoop, whoop. The police! <laughs> oh, just kidding. Just kidding, my friends. <sighs> So uh, I'm performing at Maine's Got Talent this year. So I'm going to show you the song I'm performing. Are you guys down? Yeah. All right, hopefully nobody from Maine's Got Talent is watching right now. They're going to be like, we've already heard it. It's not great. <laughs> Just kidding. What's it's the date? What's the date? Oh, gosh. 
Kyler? <laughs> April 22nd. You can watch it. It's in Lewiston at the Franco Center. There's going to be a bunch of other amazing artists. We actually have a past artist in the audience right now. <laughs> Melvin. Hi. I love you. I'm not asking. You, you, can, you can just. I was just saying hi. All right. We're going to perform that song. This song's called I Am, God's Plan. Who knows what it is? We're always trying to figure it out. Still trying to figure out who I am. Uh. What's God's plan? What's God's plan? What's God's plan? Uh. Sometimes it's hard to keep pushing forward in life when it rains and pours. When I'm wrong, they're right. No metaphor can explain my might. I persevere, but my mind's all worked up in the middle of the night. Strength turns to fear as daylight disappears. Never could have imagined this would happen here. Almost have to laugh. I'll just put on a mask. That'll hide this insane expression, though my intentions is always good. It's never how it works out. I guess I'm just misunderstood. Expect the difference. Accept the blessing. Don't want no reverence. Just need y'all to listen. I've given it all I've got. I can't stop, but I must before it all blows up in my face. Worst case is unknown. Guess I'll just wipe the dust off and keep going. Oh. I guess that's just who I am. I am. I guess that's just who I am, I am, oh, oh, I guess that's just who I am, I am, it's God's plan, uh, I can't write without a lesson, days turn to months trying to fight this depression, through distraction, inaction, grasping at straws just to keep me from blasting off. Out of space, out of sight, out of mind. No patience left and I'm out of time. That is all I want right now. God, please give me a sign. Shine your light on me. Show me the path to cross and I'll sprint it. Definitive class, but I'll pay them. Just charge the credit. All my cards on the table. I'll just keep buying more and more to keep them guessing. I guess that's pretty reckless, but I'm invested through blood, sweat, and tears, money, steps. In a broken heart, death may do its part. So over again, I start. I guess that's just who I am. I am. Oh, I guess that's just who I am. I guess that's just who I am. I am. It's God's plan. Oh no. I forgot the last verse, but this isn't live. It's okay, I'll figure it out. Freestyle without my mind. I'm inclined to be myself all the time, but I find myself falling down. Why? I don't know. There's no reason for the season, but treason is on my mind. I just let it go. Show myself for the people who need it. Love is beauty. Unity is freedom. All I really got to do is accept myself. You accept me, then we'll be okay. In this world that just keeps on spinning, we're never really winning. We're losing. We're all gonna die someday, it's the truth. But what else can I do? Just be me. Oh. I guess that's just who I am. I am. Oh, oh. I guess that's just who I am. I guess that's just who I am. Everybody, I want you to say I am with me. Ready? Here we go. I am. Everybody. I am everybody. I am everybody. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. It's God's plan. And clearly God's plan was for me to forget that last verse. But this isn't this isn't Maine's God talent, right? Did I win? You know, mistakes 
will be made. But it's about how you climb that mountain of a mistake and find yourself on the other end. That's what is truly beautiful about life. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back after these messages. I'm not tired, you're tired. Are you tired? Because I'm tired. Well, I've got the thing for you. Are you feeling like you're just out of it? You don't know how to wake yourself a little self up? Well, have I got the tool for you? It's this thingamajig. All you've got to do is slightly rub it in your hair, just like that, and it will wake you up in a matter of seconds. See? I'm alive right now. I love you, Mom. I can't believe I'm doing this live on TV right now. This is crazy. But it's all good. Buy one today. Only thirteen ninety nine. Please do not purchase this item. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my friends. What else should I sing about? How much time do I need? Oh yeah, we're doing good. Fifteen minutes. I can. I can do this. All right. Somebody give me something to sing about. Yes, I'm putting the pressure on you. Nineteen minutes. Oh gosh. Okay. Somebody give me something long to sing about. Oh, Mason, you beautiful human. Sunday, and if you didn't know that, it's about to snow on Sunday. Why it doesn't make sense anymore? Oh, I feel a little offbeat, but it's all right. Cause the spring is so close, I feel it in my hair. It's getting hotter outside, I'm sweating more. Might cut this off, but I can't. Cause if I do that, I won't be recognizable. And I will feel like I lost a part of myself. I guess I'm feeling real on TV, but it's okay. Cause I'm supposed to just be me. Unique and known, the flow is happily known. But I am trying my best to not freeze. Uh, and find out why this is a change of seasons. Here we go. Going from winter and leaving the snow. And maybe next year we won't have to change time again. They're trying to figure it out, but we know how the government is, right? <laughs> yes, we do. Oh, touching. It's the dream. Of seasons, it's the change of seasons, it's the change of seasons, change of seasons. That was a song about the change of seasons. I love staggered clapping. It's probably my favorite thing. You finish up something, and then so you're waiting, and then somebody's like, uh, sh should it be me? You look over to your friend. You're like, are you going to do it? Am I going to do it? No, you're going to do it. You start. I'll go after you. <laughs> I got you to clap. Am I right, everybody? Audience jokes. <laughs> so I was walking the other day. I was walking um, on the road, and I saw a cat on the ground, and I said, hi, cat, and the cow's the cow, the cat said hi back to me. And I, uh, I freaked out and left. <laughs> Cats can't talk. Come on, people. <laughs> I'm not a real stand-up comedian.
10 minutes remaining. 10 minutes remaining. If you're still watching this, don't go anywhere. This beat is by DJ Matt Perry. If you want to get a song recorded, hit up the Owl Studios or the Nest. Mistakes are so great. I gotta start this over. I know we're live, but I can do what I want. It's my show. Oh, guess what? It's my birthday. You guys are gonna be like, I know at the end of this. Stop saying that. You always watch somebody and they restart the beat and you're like, oh, I'm doing this again, really? I gotta listen to that 10 second intro? God. so ready for bed. Are you? Well then, go to bed, kid. So much sweat in my eyes right now. Oh, I just hit myself in the face. And you all saw it. You all saw it. I'm going to have a fat lip, and it's okay. All right. I've got five minutes left, I assume. Probably six. Probably, probably like six. How's everybody doing? What? One more song. All right. 
Give me one more thing. This actually, no, I, I got the last thing I'm going to sing about. <laughs> dun, 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 I'm turning 31 years old Yeah, it's my birthday I'm feeling like I am so old And everybody in the audience is like, you're still young But I've gone through so much stuff It's okay, cause it's my birthday And I won't slow down No, I won't slow down I try to switch from rapping to singing in a minute or two. Can't believe it. This doesn't make sense for my brain. How can you do this? How can you choose this life of just love and acceptance for everybody? Oh, it's because I love you. I love myself too. And that's where it starts. But you know the most important thing about this song? Guess what? It's my birthday. Oh, yeah. It's my birthday. And I want to thank PMC for helping me celebrate it. Getting interviewed by Luigi. Yeah, it's fun. Now go anywhere. Because we're going to do some improv jamming after this. Because, yeah, it's my birthday. In it. In it. In it. Feels so good. <laughs> One last commercial break. Now, guys, are you like me and want to play with something on the stairwell but can't figure out what to play with? Well, I've got one of the most classic things. It's called a slinky. Now, all you've got to do is put the slinky at the top of the stairwell and let it slowly fall off. Now, I know what you're thinking. I don't have time to buy a slinky. What? Am I good? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I don't know if you have time to buy a slinky. Keep going. Keep going. I don't know if you <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just messing with you guys. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. I just want you to treat each other with love and respect. There's enough hate going on in the world right now. Enough people being damaged on it, whether it's online or in real life. Is online real life? Who knows? But love one another, please. It's so essential right now. And I want to give you the best of love from myself, unique, unknown. No need for shelf selfish, shameless promotion. I can't talk anymore. I need to go to bed. Thank you for the audience being here. <laughs> Shout out to the cameraman. Shout out to everyone behind the window. This was a beautiful time, my friends. Thank you very much, and have yourself a good day. Am I good? Am I done? Am I done? Two more seconds? I'm good. He's coming. Woo! It's King Zor. Oh. King Zor, the fighting oh. dinosaur. He's on a rampage. Aim your dinosaur gun. Quick, hit his tail. Fire! King Zor is fighting mad. He's backing up to put you off guard. He's turning toward you. Look out. He's firing missiles. Each time you hit his tail, King Zor, the dinosaur, fights back. He never gives up. Nothing stops King Zor. When he hits his tongue, he backs up and turns away, ready to fight again. There's never been a fighting dinosaur like King Zor. Get King Zor, complete with five missiles, five darts, and a dinosaur gun. Be ready for King Zor. He's ready for you. <laughs> Ideals Robot Commando is here to help you. He's your one-man army. No enemy can destroy him. He fights off tanks, hurls missiles one after another. 
even a squadron of planes can't stop him. Robert Commando fires his secret weapon. He takes orders from no one except you. Ideal's Robot Commando is battery operated to obey your command. Adjust the control, speak into the microphone. Left! Fire! Ideal's Robot Commando is here to help you. Look for your Robot Commando. He's looking for you. Here's the thing. Hair that grows, hair that goes to here, to there, to anywhere you like. It goes. Here's new velvet. Her hair grows, just like her cousin, beautiful Chrissy. You can make velvet's hair short, or make it grow. Hair that grows, hair that goes to here, to there, it grows. Beautiful Chrissy and new velvet. It's landed. Ideal's new Astro Base has just landed. Look, the space lock is opening. And here comes the astronaut. He's being lowered from the Astro Base into the remote control scout car. The two space probes are being mounted for launching. The car is scanning the area. And there go the space probes. They're calling them back to the Astro Base. Mission accomplished. Ideal's Astro Base and Colonel Macaulay's Space Helmet are the greatest way to play outer space. You can scan the skies, launch deep space probes, fire rockets, destroy stray meteorites. Ideal's Astro Base is at your favorite toy store. Get your Ideal Astro Base today. Hey, everybody, we're back again. I want to thank Unique Unknown as well as Kyler. Uh, these guys are going to be coming back, playing a little bit of a jam a little bit later. But right now, I happen to have two gentlemen who've been on my show in the past. They're uh, kind of my uh, all-time favorites on the show before. we got Al Ganekar here, stand-up comic Al Ganekar, as well as, uh, I think, street photographer is a good way to say it, right? Yeah. Yeah, John Duncan, who has a book. Yeah, John has a book uh, that's been a bestseller here in Maine. Uh, it's called Take It Easy, uh, Portland is 70s, and it's some really interesting photographs. Uh, it's not just for Christmas. I think you, you'd like to buy it for people's birthdays uh, in the summertime. John is also out all the time. First Friday, you're out there sometimes selling books, but a lot of times doing great photos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Love Doing it. Love being out there. Busy. <laughs> well, we're going to talk to John in a second, but I want to talk to Al a little bit about, you've got uh, a lot of shows coming up, but one really good, like right around the corner, I want you to tell people about it so they can get tickets. It's not sold out yet, but it will be, so get these tickets, but he's going to tell you a little bit more about it. Yeah, so um, my name is Al Goniker, and I am the host of the Saturday Night Vibes comedy show that happens right where we're sitting. This is the exact spot that the comedians stand right here in Studio 516 at the Portland Media Center. So uh, the next Saturday Night Vibes show is tomorrow night. And yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, so tomorrow, uh, tomorrow Saturday night, 7 p.m. And, uh, and then we have another one next Saturday, um, so, oh, let me mention the headliner. Right, Josh exactly. Filipowski yep. from Boston is coming up. Josh, Josh Filipowski. Filipowski? Yeah, yep. Funny Flips. Ooh. Yes. He is, yes, he is hilarious. And then we've got Sarah Poulin from Augusta, or I'm sorry, Auburn. And um, uh, Auburn people will get mad if I say Augusta. Right. Um, but, uh, and uh, Tuck Tucker. Right. And so both main comedians opening for him, and I'll be hosting. And, and then the following week, uh, so April 1st, we actually do have a comedy show. I didn't make that up. That would be a horrible prank. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but we have Laura Savers, um, another uh, Boston comedian, and uh, she's open for Eliza Schlesinger, Big J Okerson, a lot of the big names. And so that'll be the following, the following Saturday. Week. That's when we do the first and the last Saturday of the month. So. And I, I wanted to ask a question, but I, and I also want to talk about Eventbrite. But I do want to ask that. This guy, Tuck Tucker, you wonder if that's his real name. But your real name is Al Ganekar, right? It's not a that's, stage uh, name Yeah, that is right. I always you didn't that. change that to... Yeah, well, I mean, it's like when when I was a 
kid, you know, or before I was born, I'm sure my parents had a bunch of like Indian names picked right. out and stuff. And then, you know, no, I know I was making, they just figured out he's right. an, he's an American baby. Just, you know, right, right. they probably saw the name Al somewhere right. and just picked that instead. Well, so where can, and I was, I was kidding around cause I was saying yeah. it's it, the, <laughs> you have those comedy names like a tuck tucker. Yeah. Sounds right, like right. it's definitely like made up. Al Gandicar sounds like it's probably your real name. Right, right. right. Exactly. And my parents actually wanted me to change it to right. something short. And I said, you know, the rhythm of it, you got a one syllable first name and a multiple syllable last name. Right, it's got right. a better ba 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 rhythm, right, you know? Right. Could be like Al Albertson or something like that. Yeah, right? yeah. They wanted me to change my name to Al Gold. Al Gold. And I'm just like two for one syllable. What do you That's think, just, John? Al Gold or Al Gandicar? Which one sounds better? Gandicar, I think Gannicar. so too. So I have, I have the same type of thing. Luigi Scarcetti, these longer Luigi names, Scarcetti. it's yeah. very difficult. It, it can, but it's got yeah. a lot of a lot Scarcelli. of things. Scarcelli. Scarcelli, you know, right? Scarcelli. Scarcelli. A Scarcelli. Yeah, you would, ne- you would never expect your Indian parents to be not accepting of your Indian last name. Right. To, like, to yeah, you're not, you're not going to get anywhere in show business like to, that, son. You need to change it. What is Gonnaker? I can barely pronounce that. It's like, well, really and, I, <laughs> and I do feel like if I was going to a show and it was Al Gold. Yeah. So Al, I like Al, but Al is already a little bit on the older side of a name, right? Like Al. Yeah, true. So Al Gold, I feel like you're going to be thinking it's Borscht Belt. It's that old time <laughs> right, Al right. Gold presents. Yeah, it's a weird sound to me. I was like, no, I'm sticking with. They came around Al eventually. Gannicar. I was like, no, I'm sticking with Al Gonnaker. I'm keeping the family name. They, well, they and we around. had Sarah Poulin. Uh, her a lot of her com- compatriots are the River Comics, right? Which was uh, Nick and Leonard. They were on my show recently. So, but how can people? They can get these tickets on Eventbrite. Is that the best way to? Yep. Find go on, a way go to get on these? Eventbrite. I try to make the URL so easy. Okay. It's PMC is in Portland Media Center, yeah. and then. I just make it the date. So tomorrow's March 25th. March so 25th. PMC 325. Okay. Eventbrite.eventbrite.com. And then next week is for PMC 401. Okay. Dot eventbrite.com. Yeah. I was going to say, we might be able to have our computer guys in there type that out, that's but it's right. a little yeah. bit of a. So that's coming up. You've got that uh, tomorrow, April 1st, too. You said, yeah, so right? March 25th, tomorrow, yeah. 7 p.m. and April 1st, 7 p.m. And so let's talk a little bit about yourself as well, because, John, you have a book here that. I bought it. I got it for gifts for people. It was very interesting. It's a story that uh, we talked about about a year ago. But in the in the few minutes that we have now, I think people would love to hear a little bit of the how this all came about to get this book from kind of photos that you had sitting in a in a bin somewhere to one of the best sellers in Maine last year. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, you know, I've been posting them on um, Facebook Encyclopedia, Portland Encyclopedia. 60, 70, 80 for a long time. So uh, <clears throat> I was kind of known within that circle, you know, people I knew, old Portlanders, okay? Well, yeah. I'm an old Portlander, I guess. <laughs> um, and and uh, um, um, Bangor Daily News reporter, yeah. uh, name. <laughs> Troy, yeah. Troy Bennett. Okay. Yeah. Troy Bennett, and he's based here in Portland. So he, <clears throat> contacted me, said, oh, I'm looking at this, I want to do an interview with you, and he did, and then he did a front page in the Bangor Daily News, uh, December 20th, uh, 2021, I, I remember this stuff, so, uh, 2020, and then, uh, so Christmas happened, and uh, then he said, oh, you need to contact Island Port Press, the publisher, and yeah, they're on the back, Island yeah. Port Press, and they uh, asked me if I wanted to do a book, so before that, I've been kind of under the radar, I mean, somewhat. Uh, a fellow named Nick Jervin, who's a really amazing uh, street photographer and photographer in general and, and graffiti artist, and he's, I think, known by quite a few people around Portland, kind of reached out to me, too, uh, in 2016 when I had oral cancer, and I was going to go through treatment, and just before all that happened, I uh, met Nick, and we had a show just before I was going to start going into radiation and all this stuff. It's wild. At the, uh, at the uh, right above Starbucks, at uh, where Hayes Drugstore used to be. Congress will. And uh, me and five other street photographers. So that was kind of my coming out, I guess. You know, I was pretty recluse, even though I had all these negatives stuck in sleeves. And yeah, it's opened up a whole can of worms. Whole can, well, in a good way. In well, a good way. I was right. in Portland, only child, grew up in Falmouth, only yeah. child, which a little bit is in the book. And then. This is you back then, right yeah. there. Yeah, and then I'm fine. Get a close I up find, of that. Uh, I find out the adoption records are wide open in the early 70s when I'm like in my 20s. And uh, I went in the courthouse, I looked it up, it took me about 
two hours, found my mom's name, called her up on the phone, said, hi, I'm John Duncan, you're supposed to be my mom. She said, oh, I wonder when you'd call. Yeah. She was two blocks away on Hampshire Street, right above Tomaso. That's crazy. 32 Hampshire, which is now a condo, which also says something about Portland. Says something about Portland. <laughs> so, well, it's, uh, that's so. what I think is pretty interesting. It's like one of the few times you can imagine we have two people who are adopted on the show. That's what Unique Unknown oh, yeah, was yeah, saying. Yeah, just, yeah, he was also yeah. adopted yeah. by family. Al was not adopted, right? You said no. you always you reference your folks a lot in the comedy, and it's oh funny, yeah. yeah, family is comedy gold. Yes, you know? exactly, and they're back because nobody can argue with you. But do they live in India? Uh, well, my dad died you, last year, so oh, he doesn't live anywhere. Right. Right. Um, but exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help it. I'm sorry. Yes. Comedians, we're, Comedians we're, our minds yes. are twisted. Whatever, he's my dad. I can say that. Get your own. Uh, but uh, no, my. My parents had actually, when they became empty nesters, they would spend the winters there. They spent the then winters. once COVID hit, they had when COVID hit, they had to stay because it was too unsafe to travel. And then he passed there, and my mom still lives there she's because yeah, there. she's found her nice, comfortable, retired life with her friends over there. So it's beautiful. Yeah. Well, and so that's what I was going to ask you, talking about Portland. Uh, what are the changes that you've seen in Portland? I mean, is there anything that stands out? The pictures say it all. I mean, it was such a different place back then, but. You're seeing it really change drastically, probably in the past like 10 or 20 years. You know, there's like a lot of physical change in the buildings and the condos and the condoization and affordability. <laughs> yeah. Things like that. Right, but, right. But, but, but uh, the more and more people I meet, because I meet, the book has kind of just opened up this whole world uh, that I didn't know existed. <laughs> you know, right. People have been coming out of the woodwork that are in the book, there were kids and I didn't know. And, and, right stories when people see the pictures so it's all that picture is worth a thousand words kind of stuff. i bet you, you right out of your memory you can find this is like a picture of jim ledoux a very famous chef yeah, used to be alberta's and alberta's all of this he was i worked for him at one time in my 20s we hitchhiked to wyoming and drilled on oil rigs together back in the 70s so yeah there's a lot of wow. stories and the one though that i thought that you could find right out of like memory was the could you tell briefly uh story about the, the little girl that was in the book. Remember, was that at the, there was freckle, one of those ones, about remember? the freckle face girl? Yes, wasn't, and she found you after? Was that her, or was her mother? Her. Or? I found her and her sister living in Florida. Yeah. She had three daughters. This picture right here. Michelle. Very. Her birthday yesterday. Yep. Yeah. And, um, Can we get that? short, she had a daughter that was in Iraq, uh, came back to the United States in 2017, six, yeah, 17, I think. Yeah. Um, uh, took her own life um, shortly thereafter. Uh, within a week, um, there was a whole incident. It was all over the internet. Her and her boyfriend did something with the, did something with their dog. So it it it, it uh, suddenly there was this whole backstory. And then you know, uh, talking with her daughter, how Michelle herself this is a fun picture Michelle here. herself kind of had a really rough life too. So her daughter would tell me how uh, that uh, when I was coming after her that day was probably one of her happier days because, you know, I captured that moment because she had a tough childhood, tough home life. Yeah. So, yeah, so stuff like that. And this woman I just met a couple of years, uh, about a year and a half ago, right. she was in an office. Yeah. Because so, once this book got uh, really popular, then a lot of people were like, oh my God, that's yeah, me yeah, back yeah. then. Yeah. So, the, the real question I have is, when is Portland in the 80s going to come out? Right? It's been, you've been asked that before. I lived in Sweden. Yeah, you're in so Sweden years, now, years, right? Yeah, so I, I wasn't here in the 80s. So oh, okay, right, right. I wasn't here. I missed, uh, like, um, the brew, BB, 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 BB and the B sides. I missed right. all that yeah, yeah. punk thing because a good woman friend that was in the book, Beth Blood, you know, that was her period when she was doing stuff like that. Um, I wasn't here then. Yeah. Yeah. So you had Portland. Genos. Genos, exactly. So did you have it there? So it's really your photos kind of jumped from the 70s to back when you started. Do, was that how many years ago were you really focused on it again in 2010? Well, I mean, I've, I've always taken pictures, but uh, since I kind of like retired um, you know, six, seven, eight years ago, uh, I'm just, and during COVID, I was out on the streets on my bike when the streets were empty. So it was. Right, right, right. Mm. Stuff, so well, I thought that was yeah. such a unique moment. <laughs> well, I remember that on our last show, you also had some spectacular photos of China before yeah, they opened 83, up. 83, China. right. 
Florence, Italy in 75. Florence, Italy, right, exactly. And lately, my big thing has been the Glastonbury Festival uh, in yeah. the UK, which a lot of, I say, Yanks don't know about. Right. I mean, people do, musicians and stuff, but it's a massive festival and it's beautiful. And to me, it was the, um, it's kind of a Woodstock infrastructure because I did go to, I was 18 when I went to Woodstock and I went there 50 years later when I was, you know, 70, 69 yeah. in 1919. So, um, and now I've been going and, you know, it's a fun place to take pictures because the people are And is that coming up this summer or did it this already summer, happen? Yeah. Yeah. Elton John's one Elton of the John. headliners. Okay. Last tour. Yeah. So that would be cool. That's cool. Lizzo, right. I saw Lizzo in 2019. That was who I didn't know who she was at the time, but yeah. I really love her message. So I try to keep up with more contemporary as much the as I The current can. stuff, yeah. I'm not so much listening to older, older music. Older music, yeah. But my, Publisher, he really liked the Eagles. That's why he used the term take taking it easy. it easy. Right. It gives I was that. Never, I was never an Eagles fan. Right. I mean, I, yeah. I know right. 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 Now it's uh, so. Uh, what's uh, what what's coming up for you? Are you doing more shows coming up this summer or? What's, uh, uh, yeah, and, and so um, yeah. I'm kind of thinking, of, well, I'm trying to start two more rooms because I have two open Saturdays right now, like the Portland Media Center is two Saturdays out of the month, so I've got to get more uh, shows uh, Friday nights and Saturday nights started at other venues. Um, for the summer, it's interesting you brought up summer because yeah. one thing I thought of doing is probably changing the this show from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. for future shows, yeah. just because, one, you know, for the summertime, it, people... Once it starts to get dark, then you want to get people get that vibe of like, all right, now it's time for nighttime entertainment. You know, when it's 7 p.m. in June and they're walking in and, and the sun still, is still it's up, still light. Yeah, it's oh, a different right. vibe, you know. So we may we I might push it uh, a little later for the summertime and then bring it back earlier for the winter shows. Who knows? Was, um, but yeah. yep, just looking to start more rooms. So it was interesting. I I seen uh, the guy Bill Green. You know Bill Green. You don't know Bill Green too no. well. Yeah, from the news. He spoke at this event, and his big thing was he wanted to have ultra summertime, so it would knock another hour, so it wouldn't get dark till 10 at night. So he was like, came up with this crazy idea where it was daylight savings time, another hour in the summer, yeah. because he felt like that would be good. You know, if you're out there, Bill, you know, it's an idea. He thought that would be good for the economy and the stores. They keep people keep shopping, yeah. the lighter and lighter. But for a comedian. So does, do you find that comedy thrives more in the winter because when it's darker, yes. yeah. Yeah, summertime is the worst for stand-up comedy because, you know, people are coming home from the, they'd rather hang out they're at out the, beach, the beach, you know, they're right. drunk, you know, yeah. like, I mean, they, you know, <laughs> I mean, you, you'd rather hang out at like Old Orchard Beach when it's nice and warm and stuff like that. I right. get it, you know, yeah. so, but, so the best summertime comedy shows are the ones that start a little bit later, um, give people time to get home and sh the ones who are sober enough to come out, you know, Get, get home, shower a little bit. They don't got to be rushing back from their summertime hike to make it to a 7 p.m. comedy show comedy and get show. their seat at 6.30, you know, that's and so, right. yeah, does, it's a little uh, more courteous. Cause, and I, I know we got about a minute left, but that's a question for you. Can comedy be done outside? It seems like it's a, it's yeah, a lot it's better terrible. inside. Yeah, it's terrible, yeah, right? it's terrible. Yeah. You want a small room, intimate. You want the laughs to echo off. It, it's, yeah. A lot of it is human psychology, and when people are, like during COVID, when it's just these open shows, the, the laughs just disappear into the ether, and right, comedians right. are walking off stage like, I, I, I did horrible tonight. Right, right, right. And it's like, no, you didn't, actually. Yeah, 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 exactly, <laughs> but it's, it's hard to get those pockets of yeah. it. Um, so yeah, before we roll out, because I know these guys want to do their jam, I can see them waiting, uh, tell them once again where they can find the tickets, tell them where they can find this book. Let's get, let's get some promotion in before I let you guys go. First of all, I've always loved the Eagles. Take it, take it easy. <laughs> Don't let the sound yeah. of the, oh, yeah. your own wheels right. drive you Hotel crazy. Hotel California. Love that song, yep. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so the, the two links for the shows are uh, PMC325. For tomorrow, 325.eventbrite.com, uh, and then PMC 401, 401 for April 1st. And where, where can they get this book? The book, the book is pretty much in every bookstore, and, and uh, I personally have it at Pat's Meat Market. Tommaso's has them, because uh, they've sold like probably 80 or 90 books out of Tommaso's. Exactly. So, get the book, go to see the show. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Uh, we'll be right back with Unique in the Jam. Take care. Ow. Unique in the Jam. Yeah. Okay, we're, we're good, guys. Thank you. It's ideal.
look who's come to your house to stay. A pal you can play with all day long. She's Patty Play Pal, a big doll, big as a three-year-old. And Patty's real as life. Patty's beautiful hair can be brushed, braided, or put into a ponytail. And Patty Play Pal, big as she is, is light and easy to carry. You can dress her in your own clothes, because Patty Play Pal is almost your size. She can wear your pajamas and stay overnight, too. Yes, Patty's a wonderful friend. She's just one of the ideal Play Pal family. Starting at $12, there's Johnny Play Pal, Susie Play Pal, and Penny Play Pal, too. Meet Patty and all her Play Pal family at your favorite store. The Zeroids are here from the planet Zero. The Zeroids! Zerak, the Zeroid commander, frees himself from his own Zeroid capsule. Advance! Zobor, the Zeroid transporter, change his Zeroid capsule into a Cosmobile for hauling. Zintar, the Zeroid explorer, change his Zeroid capsule into a lunar sled. Command the Zeroids to defend. Move forward, backward, and transport. Command the Zeroids from ideal. Thunderstreak, 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 the new super speed hydrofoil with five position hydrofins you set for action. Rev up high powered prop. Position rudder, check your course. Thunderstreak speeds across water. For submarine action, it crash dives underwater. Thunderstreak propels itself on maneuvers. You can make it turn. Make it roll or bank. Then, Thunderstreak rises, surfaces, and speeds away. Take Thunderstreak on snow patrol. It even skates over ice. Thunderstreak goes anywhere, so snap on land cruiser wheels and race with Thunderstreak on land, on ice, underwater, overwater. Thunderstreak, there's nothing in the world like Thunderstreak, made only by ideal. Three, two, one, blast off. She's up. Come in, ideal countdown control. Ready for second launching. Atlas moving into position. Fuel her up. All set. Countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Yes, you can be in command of your own ideal countdown. It's a real electronic missile base. You sit at the controls and move missiles into place. You count down. You blast off. You track the flight. The ideal countdown comes complete with moon missile and lunar probe, as well as a giant atlas. Get your electronic ideal countdown now, wherever good toys are sold. It's wonderful. It's ideal. Flight leader to ideal fighter jet, clear for takeoff. Roger! This is fighter jet and making a left bank to join formation. Flight leader to ideal fighter jet, turn indicator on. Red warning light will tell you when you're off course. You're flying by radar, hold her steady. Enemy plane coming in at two o'clock. Enemy out of machine gun range. Set your range finder, get set to use rockets. He's in my sight, rockets ready. in Ideal's electronic fighter jet is like flying a real jet fighter. You work the throttle, indicators, radar scope, and warning light. You control six moving targets, fire four rocket guns, buy Ideal's fighter jet wherever good toys are sold. It's a wonderful toy. It's Ideal. Maddox to the rescue, along with General Custer. Who started it? Ferocious Chief Geronimo, on his horse Comanche. 
And there's Johnny West with his horse Thunderbolt. Jay West rides the buckboard with his sister Janice, while his twin brother, Riding Concho, fires to turn the herd. There's Jane West. Can she control the covered wagon? The stampede is getting closer. Will Jane and Janice escape? It's up to you. You're the boss of the Wild West with your Best of the West collection. Each figure complete with up to 31 pieces of authentic gear. And look how you can pose Comanche. Get the Best of the West by Marx. And we're live. Hello, everybody. This is the improv session of the show. I hope you're doing good. I've got Mason next to me and Melvin on the guitar. I've also got hair in my mouth. <coughs> Hi, I'm, I'm Mason. Uh, yeah, I'm a musician. I'm, yeah, I'm here to just collaborate. Excited. Oh, I've got that music. It fills my soul. I've got that music, I'll never let it go. I've got that music, it fills my soul. I've got that music, I'll never let it go, let it yeah. go. Yeah. I got that music, let it fill my soul. I feel it right down to the roots in my bones. Don't Ooh. you know, I know exactly how this flow is supposed to go. Cause I didn't write it down off the top of the dome. I'm in the zone. You know that I'm sliding, yeah, I'm silver. And you know I'm surfing through the streets like I'm made of chrome. Oh man, I'm feeling like I am never alone. Cause I am chilling with my homie, yeah, we all in the zone. Uh. I've got that music, it fills my soul. I've got that music and I'll never let it go. I've got the music, it fills my soul. I've got the music and I'll never let it go. I'll never let it go, no matter how much I want to. No, I gotta use what I've been given. No, gotta take what I've been living. To do this, gotta use it to feel good. That's understood, yeah, 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 yeah. I've got the music, it fills my soul. I've got the music, I'll never let it go. I've got the music, fills my soul. I've got the music. And I'll never let it go, let it go. I've got the music. I've got the music. Guitar solo. Just like feedback, but I just use it to sit back and relax. I've got the music, yeah, it fills my soul, and I'll never let it go. No, I'll never let it go. Oh, I'll never let it go. 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 Shout out to Melvin on the guitar. Shout out to Mason joining me on the mic. We're having fun here. Hold on. Hello? Just kidding. I'm not doing that again. All right. Do you guys want to try another one? Yeah. You got another one in you? All right. Rock us out of here. Let the cold moon move on. Move 
on. Let the old move on. Move on. Know what you're told and move on. Move on. Sell what you sold and move on. Move on. Ah, I, I wanna move for a little bit. I wanna groove for a little bit. I've been lost sometimes and I'll never find myself unless I got that music. I gotta love myself. I gotta shine sometimes. If I lose my mind, you'll be the first people to know. I swear it. Let that cold move on. Move on. Let the old times roll on. Roll on. Let's just rewind. Watch those times fly Watch by. Time Let fly the cold by. roll on. Oh, I'm feeling desperate. These times are changing. I can't figure out if I really want to be famous. Everyone watching, trying to get it too. I will never give my soul to you I let that cold roll in pull my shoulders in raise my hands up in the air wave them like I just don't care cause when that cold wind blows I will let you know how I'm feeling how I'm feeling let the cold let the cold move on Move on. Let that old move on. Move on. You know, I took what I sold and I never just moved on. No, I never got proved I moved on. Turn around and I just didn't know what I should do. So, you know that I took a needle, then I sued my soul. Don't you know that I have a lonely road? Yeah, this is the lonely road I roam. And every time I just feel like I'm lonely, no man feeling like I don't know that I'm lonely. Roman man, feeling like I am at peace. I'm feeling like I'm vibing. I feel like I'm a beast, uh, but not the animal kind that is a predator. No, I am kind of quiet. I am a smaller, I'm a little chipmunk, maybe. Maybe something that has small ears, maybe it's a baby. I'm just a little creature that is all in the world, and I don't know what is going around the world that whirls. And I'm just listening, I'm just watching, don't know what I got. I'm just offering, I just say what's at the top of my brain. Some people call it rap, some call it insane. Let that cold wind blow. When it does, I'll let you know. Because when push comes to shove, it's always better to take the high. Just old and move on. Need that cold. It moves on. 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 Everybody moves on. It 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 moves on. song smooth all right big round of applause we're gonna do a little switch up here so you want to get on the bass you want to get on the bass do a little switch everybody big shout out to melvin big shout out to melvin he makes amazing music check him out he's amazing he's lovely lovely human 
Do you sing or freestyle? You wanna, you wanna? No, that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> it's not for everybody. We're gonna take a quick commercial break and we'll be back right after these messages. I like climbing stairs, do you? Now, this is the second time I'm talking about stairs, but some people like climbing ladders. Some would say, Jacob's Ladder. Jacob's Ladder is a nice little tool that allows you to lose your mind for about 5 to 10 seconds a day. If you find yourself finding yourself, then understand that the difference between life and death is Jacob's Ladder. Buy Jacob's Ladder today. $5.99. If you do purchase this item, make sure to purchase the banana phone along with it. And if you like the banana phone, make sure you also get the poo-poo paper. That's the elephant paper. And it will all work out. Out. Thank you. <laughs> bass. Bass. Tuning bass. Time is of the essence. It drives us towards a life worth living. But what are you really without yourself? Delve into the mind of us and figure out what you can do. Do you guys know how to tune a guitar? Because I don't. All right, let's do this. Let's hope it works. Silence is good. Everybody take a moment of silence. No, you keep playing. There we go, we can hear the bass a little bit. Can you turn it up a little bit, the bass? I don't know if I should turn up the There we go. It's important to get these technical, ooh. Uh, yeah, uh, no, I can't complain, but I'm going insane, the daily struggle, is it really worth it, I ask myself when I wake up in the morning, and before I go to bed, and take that melatonin, cause I can't sleep at night, my dreams are wild, my mind just races and races at what cause, who does it, is it God, am I above it, I don't know, but just put the bass to it, I'll find a way to get intuitive with my mind frame, exclaim everybody you're okay, with a little crack in the mic, I don't care, I snap back just like this. Find a way to love yourself. That's the only real way to exist. Love yourself. Oh. Love yourself. Oh. Love yourself. Oh. Love yourself. Oh. Love yourself. It's not magic. It's not a rabbit you pull out of a hat. What? Am I talking like a kid? I used to be that. I used to want to. Now I'm an adult and I just don't want to. I want to sleep every day. I'm feeling weak. What else can I say? It's been a long week, but I speak for people who need something. If you need a moment, let's take it. Breathe. Everybody breathe. One more breath. Oh, love yourself, yeah. Even if you don't sound good, love yourself, yeah. Even if no one cares, love yourself, yeah, 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 yeah. You're the most important person around. Just kidding, we're all important. Love yourself. Bass solo. I was never made with the bass solo. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Big round of applause for me. <laughs> Don't be sorry. I do that to everyone. If you're going to join me with a guitar, I'm going to tell you to do a bass solo. You want to Do you have a plug-in for your acoustic? Yeah, I got a plug-in. You got a plug-in? Yeah. Huh? You good? Well, yeah, I'm good. I'll hop back. Cool. I'm good. Let's switch. Let's switch again. How much time we got left? We've got 10 minutes left. Then I get to go to bed. Yeah, 10 minutes left. Then I get to go to bed. What? <laughs> Bed, what? Uh, then I get to go to bed, what? Uh, what? 
10 minutes. Luckily, I found parking. Uh, it was fun driving into Portland today uh, and trying to find parking. It was not easy at first. And then luckily, as I was pulling out of PMC, I saw a car behind me turn and get out. And I whipped that car faster than I've ever whipped anything in my life. And, uh, and I got that parking spot. There was somebody trying to get in behind me. No, not today, sir. <laughs> not today. From the booth, can you hear me? It's so beautiful. So beautiful to just take a moment in life. Figure yourself out. Sometimes uphill battles are all that you see. But if you just take that moment and breathe, you'll find yourself. Yeah, baby. Oh, I want to find myself. Oh, take it right off of the shelf. And if I slow down, it'll all be okay. I'm trying to sound like Bob Dylan, but I can't. It's only happening because you want it. And if you grasp it, it'll come your way, yeah. You only want it because you have it. And if no one else dies, there's nothing left to say. Uh, nothing left to say. It's been too many hours in this day. I've been working at the Children's Museum and Theater of Maine, and I feel blessed to say that. Now I'm turning 31 in about two days. I'm going to have some fun and just sit back and relax because passion is where it comes from. And if you're feeling dumb, you need to just write a little bit. But nobody's out of their head until I tell them. They look at me and say, who are you? 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 Nobody knows. Now, I hope you're enjoying the show. It's my gift to you on my birthday, because I want you to see the talent in Maine. There's so much, so many beautiful humans. We accept each other, no matter the weather. No negativity around me. We push through. We find trees to climb, and then we get too high, high, high up, and we're like, oh my god, how do I get down? We can't figure out. Then we have to call the fire, the firemen. They come out, and then they get a ladder, and they put it up on the tree, um, and then they climb up, and they're like, are you okay? Come here. Please come here. And then I, 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 I get into the fireman's arm, and it carries me down the ladder, oh, and it feels so good to know Strong that somebody arms. cares about me. Strong arms from a fireman. Strong arms from a fireman. Oh. Kitty cat in the tree. A uh, kitty cat in the tree. A kitty cat in the tree. A kitty cat in the tree. A kitty cat in the tree. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? I don't know. Guitar solo. I don't know. Just a man in a tree. Just a man hey, in a tree. A little bit of you and me. A little bit of destiny. 
It's on fire. Yeah, there's a willow tree on fire. Portland, Maine, yeah. We need about 30 firemen. Yeah. No, nobody's nobody's dead. No, no. No, everybody's much alive. <laughs> yeah, okay. You'll be here in a few seconds? That means two hours? Okay. Yeah, give it up. Give it up. <laughs> How much time we got left? Four minutes. We got four minutes. Forty minutes. We've got three hours left. We're going to be here all night. If you're feeling it, I'm not. So I'm not going to be here all night. Everybody with me, do this. Buzz good in my B shirt. So good in my B shirt. Good in my B shirt. Guitar solo. Just kidding. Just kidding. Woo. Now I'm cold. And I'm yelling at myself. Put it down, please. Turn the heat. Nathan LaPointe with Portland, Maine weather. There is snow coming Sunday. Be prepared for that. Oh, my God. Touchdown tornado. Touchdown tornado. hurricane. Oh, and you can expect. The on the east side. They're going to turn you insane. Clearly, I've lost it. I'm losing my brain power. All right, here we go. We've got two minutes. One more verse, it hurts to keep going, but I can't stop now. I got to show you everything that I've got inside of my brain, my vocals. One minute left, I guess I'll accept this. In 50 seconds, it's hard to really tell, but I'll keep on talking till you know well enough that I love you and you should love yourself. Believe in everything now. I've got one minute left. Can I do this? Can I take the time and just keep pursuing my dreams? Hey, guess what, guys? It's my birthday this weekend. 31 years old. Oh, 31 years old. 31 years old. 31 years old. Is 31 years old. Shout out to these guys. Give them a big round of applause. Thank you, everybody, for coming out to my show. Thank you, PMC. Thank you, Portland, Maine. I love you all so much. Until next time.